something like 45 around there and that is fine yep and I'm just gonna scale them down because they're less important than the primary axis so I'm gonna set it to 0 0.25 or 0 0.3 yeah 0 0.4 maybe yeah the the size isn't important but uh, you might want to do this just to distinguish them oops it's 0 0.35 and we're just gonna make them all 0.35 now and we're gonna name them so in this case, this is a combination of forward and right, so we're going to call it point forward underscore right. That's just my naming convention. You can call it whatever you want as long as you remember it later. This is point forward left. Now you notice, uh, let me just make this a capital L for consistency. We have the dominant axes here, forward, right, left, and back. So in this case, I'm going to set these two to be forward and these two to be back. That's just my preference. But as I said, you can name them whatever you want as long as you remember which direction they're pointing at. Now this one's going to be back, right, right. And now for consistency, I named, I, I set both directions to be capital. Uh, as I said, whatever you want to name it, but make sure you remember those uh, little details because you'll need them. Hmm. Now you can see a little bit of an inconsistency. Point forward, point right, point left, and back pointer. So we're going to name this point back. Now, point back right, we already named this, and this one is back pointer one. We're going to name this point back left and now we're done naming them uh, so that's our basic setup now we're gonna get to the Python in the next part just to explain what's going on we have our camera which is parented to the cube uh, oh we're not done yet now you notice when I move this it's nothing is parented to it right we want the player first of all to be a ghost and that prevents it when we run physics uh, the the con cube is gonna be dynamic because dynamic objects detect collision, uh, non-dynamic objects don't detect collision. So you want to be mindful of that. We're going to reduce the radius so it doesn't sit above the ground too high. Uh, now you don't want it to be too small so it sinks in. You just want it to be just about right. Maybe a little bit larger or a little bit smaller, whatever you want, but usually a little bit larger. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set the player to be a ghost because what happens is this is set to dynamic if I don't set the player as a ghost, let me just save save this uh, directional movement always save your work if I run this now you notice there's a bit of a freak out there that's because this is a dynamic object there's something stuck inside it and the physics engine is trying to move them out of it right now we already have our empties set to ghost or I have them set to ghost you should set them all to ghost just in case uh, and we're gonna set the player to ghost and now we don't have a freak out right the cube drops no problem of course we want the player to follow the cube so we're gonna parent the player to the control cube and now the control cube moves with the player so now the camera and the player are parented to the control cube and now we're gonna select all our empties our directional empties here and we're gonna parent them to the control cube now you want to be careful to parent them to the control cube because the control cube isn't going to rotate in our script. We're not going to set the rotation of the control cube. What is going to rotate is the player. And if you make these parented to the player, they're going to rotate with them, which is going to glitch it out. So you want to be careful to parent the empties to the control cube, not to the rotating player object. One last thing I'll do to refine the game a little bit is go to select the camera, go to object properties in the properties section scroll down relation extras and you might recognize this it's the slow parent and what this is gonna do is it's gonna give the camera a delay so now when I move the cube notice in the camera view over here the movement is smoother it's just a nicer effect uh, so that's gonna be our setup we have our cube the control cube which is gonna move we have our object which is gonna rotate and how we're gonna rotate it is we're gonna set it to point to one of these using the 
the Edit Objects uh, Track to controller, uh, sorry, actuator, which you might be familiar with. That's the basic setup. So in the next part, we're gonna get, we're gonna get to the actual scripting.